Let Mustard presents. Hey guys, Natural Star here for my first video on my new series that's going to be called Let's think of a name. How to use terminal. And that's the uh, first episode and it's called Terminal Basics. And today I'm going to show you how to first use terminal, how to get basic commands and yep. Uh just saying that when your friends are gonna see what you're doing on terminal, they're gonna be like, Oh my gosh man, can you you're such a hacker and stuff and yeah. It impresses most of the people when, you know, you just use terminal and you see all these codes and stuff like matrix. And yeah. Oh yeah, talking about matrix, uh I have a cool effect. I mean command. And that's gonna look pretty much like Matrix. So to begin with, you just have to open Terminal. Terminal. Just. Yeah, here you're gonna have Terminal. It's gonna be the same thing. And you would wanna do, just go in here, Terminal, Preferences. Just go here, and uh, you will go in text, just change the text to a really, really flashy, bright green color. And uh, go here, cursor, block, and blank cursor. After that, window, and color, and background color, and you just go black, pure black, like that. <laughs> and that will give it a pretty fancy and cool effect like that and uh, yeah let's get started with the codes first to do uh, as I told you the matrix effect just go here um, and I made a little text edit file I'm gonna put in, this, in the description for you guys you know to just see it and stuff uh, and here just press command C command V it's gonna be while space uh parentheses true uh and parentheses do echo minus n and you just type it uh here type it a random number or just your name whatever you want basically just put that and done here we're gonna have matrix uh kind of a matrix effect that looks pretty cool um it looks better with the uh, numbers uh just just gonna quit that, close, and open again. The second thing I'm gonna do is add invisible spacers to your dock, like here. Uh, to do that, you just need to go here in the the text editor file. Just click, go here, Command C, and Command V. That's gonna uh, Enable the invisible spacers for the apps. There are two different ones. Remember that for the apps and for the docs. The docs are here, and that's uh, a space for the docs. You can just you know add it here. And you can see you know it just makes it uh, say better. And the uh, one for the apps is just here. And when you just type that, press enter. Let's just go fast, you know, type that. Press enter. I'm just going to delete that because I don't want new ones. Sorry, guys, my bad. And just press enter. And after, just put kill all right here. Uh, yeah. Kill all. Here, you're going to put dock just gonna yeah I'm just gonna show you guys it's gonna be extremely laggy <sighs> and you just wait wait a bit wait a bit and here you can you're gonna have some more icons and stuff I mean sorry guys um invisible spacers uh, yeah that's pretty cool and my second thing is the x-ray folder 
basically uh, the x-ray folder is just when you click on a folder just put a spacebar and it just gives you a really quick preview and um, what it basically does is that you can see through it and uh, yeah that looks pretty cool I think I'm gonna put an image when I'm gonna edit it and to show you what it is I'm not gonna do it now because you know you have to kill all finder that means that uh, your finder is gonna close and it may you know stop my video so to do it you know like usual just go here for like copy the first uh, line here I'm gonna put this get it bigger for the first line here um when you copy it just press enter and uh, after you just need to kill all finder uh, yeah the second one uh, the other one is to have uh, the ability to quit your finder basically you know just have a new preference option let's say and it's gonna say quit finder and yeah that's also pretty cool you know, just to show your friends that you can quit find the finder they can't okay and here uh, you know just to reverse it and to do it but always at the end kill all finder uh, yeah here uh, you can uh, get the hidden apps that you hid <laughs> uh, an invisible I'm gonna put another picture also uh, and yeah the result of it and here you have a uh, little opera uh, command also and it's uh, on yeah how to add air arrows basically basically you know when uh, you scroll down sorry when you scroll down you have you're gonna have this little arrows and stuff here it's really fun a web browser is it's pretty epic and stuff I'm gonna put another picture on it and yeah and here you can see the hidden files that you know Apple didn't want to show you and stuff just go command C here and just go here comment V and let's see you can see the hidden files normally in your finder and yeah basically I don't because I don't have like loads of hidden files I took them all off uh guys um subscribe like comment and follow me for my other video it's gonna be I guess I'm gonna do a little more advanced and after that I'm gonna do a video on how to hack basically people are I think that some people are gonna like it hope so uh, guys uh, follow me on my Twitter it's gonna be in the description below uh, and yeah peace out guys